what you wanna say, say what you wanna say, do what you wanna do, do what you wanna do, be what I'm gonna be, that's all I gotta be, you just don't wanna be, so back the fuck up off of me. Here we go again, it's the better end, or a better than, even your friends are thinking me, oh damn, got your breeze on a bed, on the knees, give a hand, what I be, but you never be what I've been, lyrically, I'm a 10, never go quick, cause I gotta represent, make another hit, pop a little bit incredible. Uh, we're gonna start out with a, a question from back in the day. Uh, I was looking for information on you guys uh, getting ready for the interview, and it, it was kind of hard to find a, a lot about, um, you know, a lot about your backgrounds or whatever. But um, it said that you guys met uh, at a DJ show or something like that in '95, and then their first album went out. It came out in 2000. W were you guys working in other projects at the time, and is that why it took so long for that that first album to drop? Uh, actually, man, it's a pretty unique story. It's like. We started out, we just love hip hop, so we started out as DJs. We used to do four turntables, me and him, and we used to rock clubs and do underground stuff, and then we started making beats, and then after that we started rhyming. But we never, we never ever did music because of like our occupation. We only did it because we love music. Mm -hmm. So like, we were making songs and making songs and making songs, the next thing you know we had like 200 songs that we made. And we were like, man, we should put out a record. So that's the only reason why we did it. The first record we put out, we were like, Maybe we'll sell a hundred of them just to like our friends and stuff. You know, the next thing you know, it sold like 10,000 copies. And in Humboldt County, we're selling more records than like Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it just kind of took off. And then because of that, we started doing shows and started like trying to make a career out of it. But we just did it out of the love of music. That's mm -hmm. how it all started. That was Humboldt County High. Yeah, that was Humboldt County High. All right. Uh, so after the success of your first three releases, or I guess it's been three now, right? Yeah, three full length uh, LPs. Uh, what made you guys decide to su sign to uh, Suburban Noise instead of doing the independent thing like you had been? Suburban Noise is, is cool because, I mean, they have way, they have a bigger following, obviously, you know, it's a bigger label. Mm -hmm. It's cool to just go there, we can put our CD out, and it can be in way more stores, just way more exposure for what we're trying to do. Plus, they, obviously, the Cottonmouth Kings, you know, is, is, is the major group on the label, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And they have the same similar type of, Definitely. you know, music, you know, going on, so it just seemed like a good fit for us. Cool. So how has it been touring with Twisted on the Guillotine tour? Have you had to hang out with the guys much? For sure, yeah. for sure. It's like they're the best. Yeah, they're cool. They're 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 really cool guys, man. It's like because of the the work we did with Tech Nine, it was like they had a lot of respect for Tech, and so Tech kind of brought us into the whole world, like the whole Juggalo world mm -hmm. and everything involved. He kind of like took us under his wing, so. You know, Twisted wanted to tour with us off of us touring with Tech. And the first day we came, they were like, yeah, we're glad that you can come out on tour with us. And ever since, the, you know, I mean, ever since that day, there, it seems like, you know, they do everything we do, man. They just smoke a lot. They love to watch sports, you know what I'm saying? It's like all the same stuff we're into, they're into the exact same stuff. So since day one, we've just been kicking it. Cool. So, uh, speaking of smoking, uh, Jolos would kill me if I didn't ask you this. How, how do you guys like it? Do you like the... Like a joint blunt or bong. We were super blunt masters for a while. Uh -huh. Then we switched to joints. Then we hit bongs again. Kind of rotation. Mm -hmm. Whatever we feel like. You know? Switching it up. We have yeah, a vaporizer actually this tour. Yeah. They got a vaporizer. Yeah, they, they got the vaporizer. So whatever works. Uh -huh. You know. Obviously, the the response from Jolo tonight it was just off the hook when you guys were on stage. How has it been throughout the the rest of the tour? Jolo's been feeling it. Yeah. yeah, they've been showing us a lot of love, man. We heard. We heard a lot of horror stories, you know, um, about different groups that try to tour out with uh, Twisted, you know what I'm saying, or ICP, and, you know, getting stuff thrown at them, and Juggalos turning their backs, mm -hmm. and just like, but, I mean, we just talked about it before we came out here, we are like, all we can do is what we do, you know, we make songs about us, our real life, and what we've been through, and it's a representative of 100 Underrated, and we went out there and did it, and the Juggalos loved it, and it made a connection. It's been cool. Very cool. Uh, so, how's the audience been different uh, touring with Twisted and Blaze and all them uh, rather than people like Snoop? Or I, I think you took, no, Too Short and Atmosphere and E40, like, like people like that. Uh, I mean, really, to me, it's pretty much the same. You might have a couple painted faces a little bit more uh -huh. in the crowd, but I mean, people are people, so it's pretty much the same response, you know what I mean? We just do the same, same type of show, and they've been feeling it just like. 40 crowd would or whatever, anything, it's, it's been cool. We just, like I said, we just do us, you know, that's all we can do. I can't go out there and pretend that, like, 
I'm somebody that I'm not, you know, and I can underrate it. We can only go out there and do who we are and what we do. And it's the same show that we do with E-40. It's the same show we did with Tech 9 with Too Short, on the Warp Tour with Atmosphere, right here with Twisted. It's the same show. You know, I mean, a couple songs change, and, you know, we make newer songs and release newer CDs, but it's like, it's the same show, and, you know? We're lucky that we can do that, you know what I mean? Like, not very many people can do that. So it's real cool that we can do that, because we can chill with this crowd, 40s crowd, like you said, yeah. for diff just different people, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's cool. So like, the last time we did a show with 40, it ended in a, you know, a gang shooting. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, that was the one? That it was, was the one you guys were at? Yeah, so oh, it was gosh. like, it was like, you know, a lot of times the media will try to tell people that, you know, people will get at different clicks and, you know, they'll try to separate who people are. But, like, we haven't found no discrepancy. We do what we do. We go, we go out in the audience every show, me and him, regardless of the show, regardless of the city. We go out and meet all the fans and introduce ourselves and talk to everyone. And it's just, you know, people give it a chance. People are good-hearted in nature. Everyone. Mm -hmm. So they've always shown us love. And the audience has always been cool, and it's been just a great experience. Uh, so you hadn't released a, a, an album on Suburban Noise yet, but your first one's going to be released in September. It's going to be called Straight Out of Humboldt. What can people expect from that? Old fans, new fans, what, what can we expect from that? Fire. <laughs> yeah, so it's, what? It's, the, it's, the best, it's the best work we've done. Trust me, it's like, I mean, we're really happy with it. Suburban Noise is really about like the artists and the underground. They showed us a lot of like support, just whatever you want, whatever you want to do, we're not going to control you, we're not going to tell you you should do this. I mean, we got one insert on a record that will explain one little discrepancy we have with them, but it's, I mean, besides that, they let us do whatever we wanted. So, um, you know, you'll get everything. We got a song on there about the history of what we just explained to you, kind of how we started and what we did. We got a song on there about that, and you know he does most of our production, so it's like the the best beats that he's ever done in his career. I believe, you know, I, I might be biased though, <laughs> but I believe, you know. And we got, you know, it's some good songs on there. We got Tech Nine again. Oh, oh nice. It's crazy with Chris Calico on there. That song's one of the tightest ones. Tech, Tech says it's his fastest rap he's ever did in his career. Yeah, so, I heard that one track that you did, I think it was off of Harvest Time, off of uh, Say what you want to say? Yeah, 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 this is like, that was like here, this one's like up here. Wow. This, one's, this one's tight. Chris Calico on the hook. Chris Calico on the hook is tight. Nice. Then we, uh, got, we got Cotton Mouth Kings on there too. So. Yeah, I was going to ask you who, who all was going uh, to get experiences on the album. So, yeah, Cotton Mouth. We got uh, Charlie Tuna. Charlie Tuna from Jurassic, Jurassic 5. We got the Boonies on there. From Dude. I Got 5 on it, you know, we did mm -hmm. it. Brought it back together, we did a weed song, Potluck and the Loonies. Um, we got a surprise on there, man, that we, we're not letting people know right now, but, you know, right around the album time, it'll be out and people will know what we got going on. Very cool. So, uh, let me see here. Um, who would you say that, I know you guys come from different backgrounds, like you said, on stage, you know, you from the Jewish background, and uh, what, who would you say that are your biggest uh, musical influences or influences in life? Um, well... I mean, music, where we come from, we just listen to all types of music, whether it's like underground, whether some people are called a backpack, some people are called certain music gangster rap, some people are called, you know, you know, like the wicked shit, some people, everyone throws different labels on music, but we just are a fan of good music. I don't care who you are, if your music's good, it's good. You can be on MTV and still make good music. You can be on MTV and make horrible Shit, music. Yeah. You can be underground and you can make good music, and you can be underground and make horrible music. If it's good, you know, it, it inspires me. So, like, you know, anyone from, like, the most mainstream dude to, like, Jay-Z, we were just listening to him. I really feel that to, like, you know, to, like, you know, Blaze or the ROC, someone that's real underground, that not a lot of people that you're never going to see on MTV. We just listened to that today, too, you know. And, and as you can see from our record, you know, we got E-40 on there. And we got Tech 9 and we got Charlie Tuna from Jurassic 5, and we got the Loonies. It's like, we got everyone on there, because that's, that's the thing. Like, yeah. Because well, we DJing, I think, is a big deal. We started out DJing, mm -hmm. so we would play whatever, you know, was hot, and then we would have all different kinds of music, you know, it would be, like, the West Coast music, the East Coast music, whatever rap it was, 
we would always, and we usually agreed on like the songs that we would like and all that, so our music is kind of like that. Like we listen to the same kind of music, like you said, whether it's all the way, we just say gangster or all the way. Yeah, know, some of the people I was showing in the crowd were, were saying, you know, this sounds like more East Coast than it is West Coast, a lot, a lot, of, your, a lot of the beats and stuff. You got so. some? Yeah. Yes, because people always say West Coast. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. I'm like, that's what's saying me like it all, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. so. So, what did what has your been been your favorite tour experience, either on this tour or in the past? The Tech Nine story. We won't talk about that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of stories, but I mean, it's like the code of the road. There's stories you're not supposed to tell. Uh -huh. It's just experiences that we've been through with other people. I mean, they're really funny, and when we're alone, we laugh, we smoke, and laugh about them, and talk oh, about. Oh, the Forty them. story too. Yeah. The hotel. Yeah, can't oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got stories, but I mean, really. Anything PG thirteen. Th those stories are those yeah. stories are like you know, they're okay, fun. We and they're our, they're our thing, but really the the thing that makes this really special for everybody is just the interaction with the fans. Like for us to be able to come to Fort Worth, Texas, you know, just two kids from Humboldt County, you know, just to come here and just all we need is get on stage and rap in a microphone, and just the connection that we can have with the people in Fort Worth, Texas and just share experiences in our life and they can relate to them because they relate to experiences in their life it's just really like that's priceless you can't put a price tag on that you can't buy that anywhere so to me that's what I take away from it is just the connection that we make with the fans cool um, I think that's probably going to about wrap it up but uh, uh, oh actually is there any chance that you and uh, Psychopathic are going to try together anybody on Psychopathic <laughs> <laughs> oh Oh, okay. Well, maybe, next question. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, any anything you want to say before before we get out of here? September nineteenth is the day. Is the day. Is the record. Yeah. As a tempest and, yeah. and the dirt ball. And, and dirt ball. And dirt ball comes out on that day. So, you, all y'all should be in the store anyway. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, September nineteenth, pot duck straight out of Humboldt. You know, we on Suburban Noise now. You can check us out suburbannoiserecords.com. MySpace backslash potluck and uh listen to that shit on MySpace, y'all. <laughs> I mean, we here. Hopefully you like what we what we bring to the table. Alright, thanks. That's gonna about wrap it up guys. And uh thank you guys, thank you one time for right. doing this. And thank you underrated for doing this. Thank you. And uh we'll see you next time, Joe Thanks. Yo, it ain't funny, you don't wanna play games. Ask who the best and you better say James Bone thing every day. Go fast, take names, I find out I ask now before I make change. Get a pop and I'm stalking a block on the bitches better know that I'm hot in the spot, pop in the glock, got me a knot. Niggas need to know that I'm walking my car. It's all time, last coast gon' shine, shine, shine. Can't see nigga blah blah blah. One tub every day, James boy, fuckin' three holes, dime, dime, dime. Hit us back up, hoes gon' get smacked up. Holla at the club and I get that love. Hit from the back when I smoke a fat dub, then I'm done and I get a back rub. Say what you wanna say. Say what you